Hi, guys. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat with me. Congrats on the series. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yes, uh, I'm Chloe from Britain Co. And I am so excited to talk to y'all about this show. I love it so much. And to start out, one of the best parts of the show is how large the core cast is. And I'd love to hear about kind of forming that family dynamic and working with so many actors so consistently. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I think we will all kind of say something similar in that that was one of the best parts about doing the show. And the special ingredient with that was having amazing people cast um, as actors, as people. Like when you get to go to work every day and be with a group of 10 to 15 or depending on the day, 50 amazing people, it makes working really, really fun, easy, comfortable. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I would say exact same thing. Um, we all got along with each other really well immediately, um, which is really nice. And one of the first things we did was Ashby hosted us for like a friend's Thanksgiving dinner where we all oh, brought stuff. Um, that was like very early on, right? Like week one. We got yeah. deep. Yeah. 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 I will point out Nikki brought um, French fries as her uh, dish to the Thanksgiving. Which Not just French fries, three different kinds. Three, three different kinds of French fries. And they were amazing, by the way. Um, and it started one of our side quests throughout the filming of the uh, show, which was which restaurant in Calgary has the best French fries. Um, but I think we would go out all the time on the weekends, food and drinks, and there's a lot of stuff to do in Calgary, and that really bonded us. But nothing says bonding like goofing off, and nobody likes to goof off when you're supposed to be working more than us three. So um, I think that's, uh, I think it's easy to become a family when when you include a little bit of that. Yes, Nikki, that was actually one of my questions about French fries, because that's in your Instagram caption. So what kind of fries did you bring to Friendsgiving? Oh my gosh. Well, I brought, I brought truffle fries. I, I brought regular fries. And then I brought potato, right? Oh, sweet potato sweet fries. Potato. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I we that. remember the fries. Yeah. <laughs> about lines, I'm like, I don't know. The French fries, I remember. Fries are the most important part. It, as they um, should be. <laughs> <laughs> so the family the French oh. fry book for her birthday. Yeah, he did. Oh my gosh. French fries. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. That's amazing. Um, so the family lives on a ranch and naturally there is a like a variety of different kinds of wildlife and we see cats and dogs in tv a lot but y'all got to work with horses um and i'd love to hear about what that experience was like uh yeah we're we're very we're a very lucky bunch in so many ways and i think one of the ways is that we got to work so closely with these wonderful animals who are very highly trained actually um compared to a normal horse and um very safe and um and i think all three of us would agree that each horse has a very distinct personality of its own and they all get into certain moods like my horse in the show's name is copper um in the show his name is murphy but the horse's name is copper and he's moody he gets so moody and you can tell when he's having a bad day and you're like dude can you snap out of it um and and the their respective horses as well i think they'll they'll agree their their characters in and of themselves so we're very lucky to have worked with them yeah yeah to to piggyback off that i mean first of all the horses was the highlight of of the show for me just getting to work with them and, and train with them but the horse that I had, um, he didn't like to go fast at all. So if you ever needed him to trot, he just simply wouldn't, um, <laughs> which was actually pretty great because I don't like going very fast on a horse. I prefer to just walk and go slow. So it was actually a match made in heaven for me. So the series has so many like good and beautiful things about it that I think just are the best parts about it from the family to the friendships um to kind of the hopeful aspect of dealing with all of these really serious 
topics right off the bat. Why do y'all think, or why would y'all say like, this is the show that people should watch when they open Netflix? Oh, I, well, first off, I think with it coming out December 7th on Netflix, we're kind of just getting primed for holiday season. You're probably going to be near your family. You're going to be near your loved ones. And I think that this show could help you remember just how grateful you should be for those people. Because with everything going on, of course, Nikki, Jackie is going through this tumultuous ride. I have my own things that I'm going through and across the board, we're, we're all, we're all doing this in the show, but the reason each of us are able to survive is because of the people around us. And any reminder that the people around you can lift you up in a time when you're you're feeling less than is it's it's worth it to me. So I think our show can provide that, and I hope people find some peace and comfort in it. And that would that's my pitch. So in a similar vein, there are I, I we've said from the beginning that if if this show works, it's because people fall in love with the characters, and there are so many characters to love in this show. I truly believe that there's room for everyone um, in this show and there's an entry point for everybody to uh, kind of escape into this beautiful world uh, with a through line of, I've said before, but sincerity. I mean, when you watch the show, I think there's a sincere factor underneath all of uh, the plot and what's going on that really does make it unique um, when you get to experience it. And it's comforting to watch. Even myself, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I did the show and I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, this is nice. So yeah, yeah. I mean, and then I would definitely say, um, you know, what everyone else has said. Um, but you know, it, there's, there's so many topics uh, that the show covers, like love, um, loss, grief, um, family and chosen family. And I feel like um, those are all topics that we've, you know, all experienced and can connect to. And so I think it's a, a really nice show and it's it's very heartwarming and people are really going to connect to it. Yeah. And Nikki and Ashby, one of my favorite scenes is when your characters kind of go see the ranch's version of Manhattan Hinge. Um, did you have any, all three of you, not just you two, but uh, did you guys have any favorite filming locations or anywhere that you got to explore that you remember really fondly? I want to say about the Manhattan Hedge scene that is so funny is that it's this beautiful moment in the show and you're like, oh my God, this is so sweet and it looks gorgeous. When, when we were shooting it, it was windy. It was like blowing in our face. Nikki and I had like snot in our nose. We were like, oh my God, it's so cold. Action. Oh, my Manhattan Henge, look at how pretty it is. So, but I think there's this river that I didn't get to shoot in, but they shot in. But while they were shooting in the river, I had a horseback riding lesson. So I just got to like ride horses along this river that they shot Legends of the Fall at as well, I think. And like literally every location in Calgary, you're just like, oh my God. God, I didn't know a place like this actually could exist in real life. And the fact that I get to be here in person is nuts. Yeah, I, I was going to say the same place, the Legends of the Fall, when we had the scene where um, we're kind of playing, uh, Jackie and Cole are kind of playing back and forth with the hat and the jacket. And the, um, it's just so pretty. And I mean, every single day, just because I think you can tell in the show, but even the ranch, it's just so expansive, the trees, the mountains, like it looks great in a show and you might think, oh, they, they made it look better. It might be better in person. Like when you're waiting to do a scene in the house, you could go sit out on just right next to the, the horses and just look out for as long as you could. Like it, it just, serenity is, is an understatement. The house, I just, I just want to go back there. It was, it was incredible. So yeah, that, anything there. Yeah, yeah, I would say the same thing. I mean, I, like, listen, I'm such a city girl at heart. I love the city, but being, <laughs> being outside in Calgary, any, like any location was just stunning and so peaceful. I, I probably would say the, the river uh, location, because I've never been in a more beautiful place. That in Banff, we didn't shoot there, but. 
Banff was also gorgeous. Yes. He made us these um, stickers at the end that say Walter Ranch on them. And it's like a picture of uh, the, yeah. It is. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love that. The reason is because when you're at the ranch and you look out onto the pasture, it looks like the background of the Hidden Valley Ranch bottles. <laughs> and we were like, this does not look real. And yet I know it's real. So that is a testament yeah. to how beautiful it is. Yes. I know there's some places that you go to and you're just like this feels like a postcard this is not real that, that is where we filmed everywhere yeah. we filmed yeah, yeah. Yes. We're, lucky. we're lucky 